Newbie reporting for duty with a completely unedited game. And I'll tell you why I did this in just a second. It's a kill confirmed on Stash House. Here's the configuration I used. I'm going to be doing a series on, not a series, a video on the mini bike. A little nervous about it, but here's how I set it up. I had a love-hate relationship with a mini bike in Modern Warfare 2. So what I generally do is play one game, warming up with it before I start recording. And I decided to record that one game. Now, a few of you viewers have been kind enough to give suggestions on aiming and such settings. And a few have said, wow, you're playing bots. They think I'm in a custom game. I set up bots. I've never done that. I've never played a custom game in Modern Warfare 3. I think the last one I played was in World War II, other than playing one-on-ones with my son and his friends in college. So, I'm always, as a fighter pilot, I'm always willing to learn. In fact, I... Th used to tell the younger fighter pilots when I briefed them before their missions when I was supervisor of flying that if you don't learn something on every mission then you just weren't paying attention so I try to learn something on every single game that I play also some folks say I just do it for fun and yes the game is fun hey look at that <laughs> two AFK guys I shouldn't have killed them but I saw the target. There was no danger to me or my crew, so I took the shots. So anyway, uh, yeah, I like to have fun with it. I have absolutely a lot of fun, but then also I'm very competitive, so I, I like to come in first. Second place, I consider being the first loser, and I think that's part of the fighter pilot psyche because uh, yeah, I killed another AFK guy. Fighter pilot Saki, because when you're flying fighters, if you come in second, you're not coming home. So anyway, have a look. I'm very much open for comments. I'm open for suggestions. I'm open for instruction because I want to improve. I've been playing for about 15 years, maybe 16 years, Call of Duty, and I learn something every time. What I'm trying to do now is keep that aim dot high -er when I'm running around because I run around gacking people, shooting at their feet. Like that guy there, I prefer headshots. When I'm sniping, I generally get headshots because for some reason I'm able to aim higher. I also look at the kill cam a lot because I want to see what the guy is using, how the gun did, which weapon did against the weapon I'm using. And where he is, most of all. I know my son, who's a pretty good player, he never watches the kill cam. Maybe some of the rest of you don't. I'd be interested in your comments on that. So I'm raging around Stackhouse. I don't choose the level of opponents. The game does that for me. There I get gacked. I've been meaning to change out that, that tree skin that I have. I just keep forgetting to do it. That's one of the... Benefits of getting old, you forget all the bad things. Oh, am I shooting my own guy there? So kill confirmed is a gag fest, but a controlled gag fest. I like to know where the enemy is. There's usually somebody camping there. And I like to know where my team is. Now, I probably should change out the mini drone when I'm doing a rushing type game because it generally ends up killing me. I don't know if the rest of you have that problem. That guy there was moving fast with the BP-50. Some of you say these guys are probably on mouse and keyboard, the ones that are have these amazing movements. Now, I have seen some guys with the amazing movements get banned in-game for cheating. Happens every now and then. There's that guy with the BP-50. So I'm going to, at a risk to myself, I'm going to put out another mosquito drone here. <laughs> and the thing will probably end up right in my ear. Look, there's that BP-50 and there's my mosquito drone. So I didn't even gack the guy. It gacked me. 
There he is again. So also some people say there's I don't do enough advanced movement. I do slide cancels. I do jump. I do slide. I've set my my settings according to what the big YouTubers say I should set them at and some of the smaller YouTubers. I watch everybody. In fact, uh, I'm subscribed to like Octane and Attach and I watch everything Shotzi puts out and Scump puts out trying to learn. Like I said, if you don't learn something every game, you probably just weren't paying attention or you think you already know everything. There's an iron back. Those things really annoy me. Do they annoy you too? They're, they're part of the game. They're part of the meta. So you just have to deal with them and somebody gives up a slot or two by taking them out with them. That guy was moving pretty quickly. And see, I pretty much know where the enemy is here. So, I mean, advanced movement's probably unnecessary getting to them. Uh, there's a sh iron back. Gack the iron back. There he is again. He's getting sick of me. I think there was somebody back in the corner that I missed. Let's see if I can kill myself with the drone again. Iron back certainly got me. See, using an S old. SPR there. Maybe that's why I put on the iron back. He wants to take his time and aim. Somebody followed me. Didn't hear their footsteps. Now most of the time, if I'm on small map, I, I won't even use a, a headset because I like to listen to books or something there. The guy committed suicide that was cooking there cooking by laying on the kitchen floor that I had a hard time following that guy yeah I probably should have jumped so I'm looking for your comments here a lot of, you know I really appreciate it you guys are really friendly and helpful there's iron back or is that a second I am back he's actually the king now, in Modern Warfare 2, I have to admit, when I played free-for-all, I usually used an iron back because I wanted every advantage I could get. And I said, if you're not using an iron back in free-for-all, you probably aren't doing it right. In Modern Warfare 3, I have yet really to use the shield, except for when I play the custom one-on-one -on -one games with my son and he's got a shield on or his buddies have a shield on. We're playing 2v2 or 3v3. And I'm a complete buffoon with the remote turret. I get killed putting it out more times than I get kills with it. So I'll just throw the thing out there. I'll set another cruise missile drone against myself. And that's how I play. Return fire, welcome. Appreciate the comments, the instruction, the suggestions, all that good stuff. I'll show you the final outcome. There's that crazy tree that I'm jumping. And there's the final outcome. Hey, if you stayed with me, please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Thanks for your comments. I really, truly appreciate them, even the negative ones. Peace.